<laughs> oh god. That's enough of that song, right? Probably enough of that image too. Uh, but I'm gonna play Peggle Knights, which is essentially Peggle 2. <laughs> if you want a sequel to Peggle, this is it. It's just more levels. I think there's like one more, like, secret Yu-Gi-Oh master or whatever, whatever they're called. What should my- I'm gonna start a new name. What should my name be? I'm gonna take a suggestion from chat for once in my fucking life. Come Master Yeet Champ Thunder Dick Krongan? I don't know what Krongan is. Is Kron- if Krongan isn't something, like, offensive, I'm going with that. It's like the name of, like, a caveman. You know what, I'm locking it in. We're too late. So we're back. Uh... This is- the plot of the game is that it's the Peggle Masters, but they're all dreaming about things. And they're all dreaming about weird, surreal shit, so basically, it's a level pack for the first game, but it's still awesome. This isn't gonna be a speedrun, either. It, I, I don't want to be disappointing. This is gonna be a little more chill, and a little less me streaming for three hours. This will, this will be a couple of segments, probably. And I know I said that, I, I know I said it's probably not gonna be a speedrun for the last one, but this one I'm like, sure. Brilliant. Oh, not brilliant. I haven't finished Normality. I'm probably not even, like, halfway done with Normality. <laughs> and, and who knows, I might get, like, all the way through Normality, and then it turns out I didn't pick up the tub of lard in the first room, so I'll just be fucked over. That would be fun, right? Yeah, we recently- I'll tell you what, we did finish. We finished, uh, oh, what was it? Lark Souls 3. Like, all of Lark Souls. We're still gonna do Dark Souls 2 DLC, we haven't done that yet. And we'll do Bloodborne and, like, Demon Souls and shit, but the actual Dark Souls series, we, uh, we beat the DLC of Dark Souls 3. I always imagine the person who's, like, a big fan of Lark Souls, but they only watch the, the edited streams, and then they discover that we've played all three games, and there are full VODs of them, and it's, like, the kind of person who listens to full VODs, and they're like, ah! Seems like there's a lot of interest in Peggle. Oh, yeah. Like, the Peggle VOD got like 10k views, which was kind of unprecedented for that channel. Is it weird that I thought you were like 30? No, people people think I'm old for some reason. <laughs> That's who it is right there. Oh, hey, my dudes. It's Jimmy Lightning, and he's fucking getting scientific on us. People assume I'm a dummy, but I'm actually dummy thick! It's the only time you guys are ever gonna get a reference to that joke from me. What is, what is this slurm that he's, like, cooking up in this level? I don't like the green and, like, the white that's, like, frothing over. No, sir. I don't like those eyes. The way he looks at it. Tubby Custard? I wanted to get into the egg. I guess that fucking dream is dead. <gasps> Sorry, I just, I just had a leak, I think. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Why do you gotta toy with my emotions like this game? Get the multi ball <laughs> Scum. That was the absolute worst. I seriously don't think there's gonna be a highlight reel of this one. I think- I think I got my... My fill of editing Peggle. Cause it, it, Honestly, it got pretty repetitive near the end. Like, I edited out a bunch of clips that were basically just a cool play happened and then I went NUT! There was a lot of cut nuts. Have you thought of playing Spore? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Next question. <laughs> like I said in the video, I, I get surprisingly few viewers on the full streams. I was relying on Discord for way too long for notifications, and then I learned that that's just not enough. And I kind of ditched Discord, and now it's the, the views have been kind of picking up. Possibly very soon. Are these Rokakaka? Wow. Can't tell me those are germs. This is a... <laughs> this is a... Depiction of equivalent exchange happening. Come on, do oh, do something. The people they come here to see classic Peggle strats like that exactly. I've I've only watched a bit of Germa, but I I do have to admit recently I've discovered that I am quite fond of his sense of humor because he, he just every once in a while he'll just snap out a deep cut just like me and I'm like yes I love this guy. Two balls left. See this is where my famous clutch plays. <laughs> Come in! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, clutch plays, yeah, yeah. Yeah, clutch plays, yeah. 
Fucking brilliant. Somebody said they don't like these pegs moving in the shaft. Yeah, I kind of don't like that either, actually. Now that you mention it. Okay, okay, okay. The people are here to see some slick tricks, alright? I couldn't just... Oh, fuck. I couldn't just leave them without something cool to, to reminisce about. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I could just hit this from the top. I could. I really could. Or I could... Listen, guys. <laughs> this, this is actually my little brother playing. I, this controller sucks, man. I, my dad works at Nintendo. I, I, in the chat, people have asked my opinion on basically every JoJo part in, in the past few minutes. And to all the people, there's a lot of new people. Welcome. I love all JoJo. I think part six is great. I think they're all great. Like, I really... Like, I have favorites. There's no bad ones. They're all JoJo. The quality really doesn't vary that hard between them. Also, is this like him discovering the cure for, like, AIDS or something? This seems like a big moment. I have watched Savior Renegade Angel. I'm a big fan. If you love soup so much, why don't you marry soup? Cause I'm already married to justice. Yeah, only a blind girl would marry you. I know everything you're gonna say. I, I honestly adore that show. It like, the first time I watched it, I had like a visceral like dislike of it too, but it grew on me so much over time. It's not my favorite Adult Swim program, no. But it's, it's very good. There's a lot of good Adult Swim programs. You know what I was thinking about today? Little Super Jail. I fucking adore that show, and I'm, I'm not big on, like, ultra-violence as a medium, but that one show is just a big old exception. I would probably rate that higher than Xavier, but just by a little bit. It froze. Game over. Look. A snow day. Let us make snow persons. Oh, people are freaking out because he said the word dab. <laughs> fucking grow up, guys. Come on. This is fucking throw me a bone here. Give me a break. No! This is a self-portrait of, like, sheer cosmic terror. Peggle. For kids. I kind of did this because I, I thought, you know, interest in Peggle would be at its peak right after I post the fucking video about it. Oh, well, we got just about 300 uh, viewers. What is the- what's the name of the song that plays at the end? That's Ode to Joy, right? Someone said, why does it play a hymn at the end of every level? I think that's Ode to Joy, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> is that a hymn? Does that count? What, what technically defines a hymn, I guess? It's an ode, of course, yeah. It's Oda Nobunaga. Oh, that was sick! Also, somebody said to tag my videos with Grayfruit, like G-R-E-Y. Y'all can just type in G-R-A-Y. How we spell it over here, man? Chow Chow, you only got three balls left. Oh, you still got three balls left. The kid's a natural. Oh, he's a natural! I heard of Feeding Frenzy. Uh, vaguely? I think there might have been ads for Feeding Frenzy on the back of some of the games that I got. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna harder the cards it. I've got my eyes closed. I'm just gonna release, I'm just gonna shoot. Okay, wow, that was terrible. Turns out, there's a reason people don't normally close their eyes when doing something that requires any level of precision. I'm only gonna get rebounds. Oh no! <laughs> I haven't played Isaac in a while. Oh my god! The pegs disappeared in just the right order to allow that. Damn it, Peggy! By the way, that's why Peggy was in the- that's- that was the joke at the beginning. I don't know if anybody even picked up on that. It was King of the Hill cause Peggy. Get it? Good one. Right? Meow, my pyramid power! <laughs> that's how I imagine this guy's voice. I just imagine- he's just a complete fuckface. I mean, look at him. Like, I love cats, but this guy's a fuckface. Who said, can we DM you, like, memes and stuff on Twitter? You can, but I can't guarantee. Like, if you just send, like, a meme or something, I can't guarantee that I will be... That I can be bothered enough to respond. And I know that sounds harsh, 
but I just know that I get like a lot of sort of <laughs> shit posty messages. So it, it's hard to sort of have the energy to respond to all of them. Something like relevant, or you got like, you made like a highlight reel or something, or you just want to, I don't know, talk, I don't know. I'm not that much of a like tight ass, but just like, if it's like a meme, don't expect a response or like a high effort response. I'll be playing, oh, this is actually kind of scary. Oh no! <laughs> Saved it, baby! I'll play the entire basement collection. Maybe not like gray matter, <laughs> and maybe not the entirety of uh, whatever the fucking one. Not Incredipede. That's a different moving the legs of a spider game. I don't know what the first one is. The 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 Edmund McMillan one. Fuck. Well, whatever the one is with the spider, I probably won't play all that because it's not very good. But the rest of them, I will. We've had so many people in chat this stream saying you should play in San Aquarium. I think three or four times I've had to say, I did. <laughs> Go watch the VODs. Have a blast. I even mentioned it in the video today and in the description. Oh yeah, I've already done Powder Toy. That's not really a Flash game. I don't know, I might... I might not be 100% lenient on limiting them to actually being games created with Adobe Flash, you know? Like, I might let in a couple of HTML5 games. I never played Fancy Pants as a kid, but I've got so many requests for it that I'm gonna play it anyway. That was one of the ones that, like, when I talked about it on Twitter, immediately a billion people were like, play Fancy Pants. And I had seen the, like, guy, the character, all over the place. So I was like, you know what, it's probably good. I'll check it out. You gotta get in these to get the, the maximum slidage. You just gotta go right in the damn hole. Now we're back. We're on fire. Literally. I can't tell if people are joking in chat. Someone's suggesting I should play VVVVVV. I can't tell if it's irony or not. You know, usually when I start talking about... Oh, Ace? What? Did I get all the pegs? No, I didn't. Weird. Uh, whenever, whenever I talk about game suggestions, the chat basically just devolves into all game suggestions. Uh, I can't really respond to all of these <laughs> anymore, but... Uh, my answer to basically any game is maybe someday, uh, but I, I have, you know, mysterious means by which I select the games that I stream. I kind of just do whatever. But I, I will get around to most, like, iconic games, don't worry. What is the plan now that I'm picking up in popularity? I don't know, just keep doing whatever I'm doing that seems to be working? Oh, this is the last ball. I didn't even realize. I should have maybe, uh, hmm, hmm, planned out a little better. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, don't worry. I don't think I'm going to Ego Raptor out, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Something that was kind of disappointing recently. I was like, I, I watched Jerma play Cuphead. That was the other one. I watched his Dark Souls and Cuphead streams. And, uh, I was like, oh, you know, the Game Grumps probably played Cuphead. I was like, I'll go check out whatever the, the Game Grumps did. And only four episodes. They did like the first two bosses and like one running gun. I was like, oh, okay, so I could get their first impressions on any game I want. But uh, a full playthrough is hard to find on that channel nowadays. It's kind of sad. But at the same time, like, I, I kind of get the uh, inclination to ditch certain games. I just don't get why they did it with Cuphead, of all things. Already he's bowling, right. The one guy who has like a fantasy sci-fi life, and he wants to be a damn bowler. Round and ballious. BLAST! Oh right, I love this one, where the, the tiles turn around. Oh by the way, it's kind of an interesting thing. Any of you who uh, watched the Mine Ralph stream, that indie game that recently came out that the developers sent me a key for, uh, they emailed me and they were like, hey, we'd love to know if you have any feedback on the game. And I was like, I don't really have any feedback, but I'm curious what your policy is on, like, glitches? Like, because they said in the email where they sent me the game, they were like, it's designed with speedrunning in mind. I was like, so does that mean... What does that mean if somebody discovers, like, a skip or some sort of, like, exploit in the game? And I asked them about that. I was like, would you, like, patch that sort of thing out? And they were- their response was pretty cool. They were like, well, we- I think we would... We would patch it out if it was something that, like, the average casual player would see in their playthrough. But otherwise, we would totally be fine with leaving 
any sort of like major skip in. I was like, well, that's pretty damn cool. Mario RPG, any any of you who are just joining us, this is a good time to plug. Oh no, plug my full stream channel. It's called Fruit Salad. It's linked in the description of every recent video, even slightly recent that I published on my you know on the main channel. I don't link to it on the Fruit Salad channel, sadly. But you can go there and there's playlists of... Like, I have most series organized into playlists. You just go to the playlist section and do a control F. Then you can, oh my god, find all sorts of playthroughs. Tons of games already. Including a stream of Bikmin that didn't get edited into a video because I wasn't funny at all in it. <laughs> Cause I was just- I was just bitter. Cause it was- it was just where the game got, like, kinda bullshit. It started becoming like a Kaizo Pikmin hack, and I was like, this is just not fun. It would just, like, wipe out all my Pikmin... ...just randomly. Like, I'd just be walking through a level, and then a bomb would just, like, fall on my head, and all my Pikmin would die. And I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Speed! But I edit with Premiere, in case you're curious. Maybe I could add that to the About section. I, uh... I have not always owned Premiere legally, but I currently do. I do the stupid subscription thing. They actually have a... Adobe now has this thing where you just... I have an IV right here, and I have a little thing plugged into my veins, and it just drains blood out of me. Uh, just, a, just a gallon every month. It's not too bad. And guess what? Even the paid version of Premiere is a glitchy piece of shit. So now my rage can be, like, substantiated, you know? Oh, those gallons of blood, they add up, though. It's a 12-month blood plan they have me on. That's 12 gallons over a year. I don't even want to tell you guys what kind of fluids I have to donate to get Photoshop. First, first three messages I see in chat. Come? Yes, guys, come. You got the joke. Congratulations. Everybody is there on the joke. Yeah, no, it doesn't drain it all at once. It takes, like, a gallon of blood, like, all in, like, a single payment. It's really taxing on my body. I actually very recently messaged, uh, Lark on Facebook, and just with no context, the phrase gamer blood. And he was like, yeah, gamer blood, I agree. The next thing after gamer girl bathwater, gamer blood. I took all my posters off the wall, uh, cause I'm moving, and I am holding in my other hand, cause you can play this game one-handed, thankfully, fat joke, you know. Go on with your bad self there, but I, I, there's a massive amount of putty that was left over, just on the walls, and I just, I, I went around, and I just sucked it all up, and now I have a big old wad. Again. Jimmy Lightning's beaker is full of gamer blood. Yeah. It's like if they, if you're on death row, oh god, this is such a dark joke. If you're on death row, and they're like, you can decide how you want to go out, do you want to do a lethal injection? And they're like, yeah, give me some, like, HIV-infected gamer girl blood, please. They're like, excuse me? Like, yeah, Belle Dolphin or whatever the fuck her name is. I want her blood and also mix AIDS into it. Thanks. I will admit it's a little hard to keep up with chat at the current moment. What did you go to school for? You know what? Now that I'm out of school, I can kind of say this. Uh, interactive media design. Stupid specific major. <laughs> and it, it kind of, I mean, it relates to streaming somewhat. That was the worst shot ever. Wow. Also, the pattern on this reminds me of the menus in Earthbound. The, like, checkerboard that's, like, compressed. Maybe Earthbound, like, borrows it from, from bowling culture. <laughs> okay, I need to- I'm playing with this, like, poster putty too much and it's getting, like, sticky. I don't like it. Oh! That was very satisfying. Drop it right in. Drop it right in. Yeah! We now have more balls than we started out with. This is- this is so- I'm- this is why this isn't a video, guys. It's because I- uh, all of a sudden I suck ass at Peggle, apparently. Here, watch this. 
And then I'm gonna clear that peg I'm gonna clear that peg out and then I'm gonna zoop on in here. Oh that was way less way less slick than I thought it was gonna be. Chance the Rapper unleashed his debut album recently. Which leads me to my question, which is what the fuck does debut mean? What has he been releasing now, like up till now, if not albums? Oh, mixtapes. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. Mixtapes. The very different from an album thing. Yes. EPs and mixtapes. I really don't know if you can call it your debut album. I just... Ah. I, like, maybe he wasn't calling it that, but I think, like, Twitter or whatever, the announcement was saying, like, Chance the Rapper posts his debut album. I was like, what? <laughs> The guy with, like, a bunch of music already released has made his debut? Okay. I'm not complaining about the music. I mean, I literally haven't listened to the album at all. But, uh, it's just strange. Strange. It's like, t I guess technically, hmm. There's really not a lot of conceivable ways that I can fuck this up now. I mean, I could if I really tried. Wasn't even trying to do that. Wasn't even trying to do that. Oh, hey. We're quite a decent way through the game. I still think I'm gonna- I'm gonna split this up into two streams, though. Under the sea! Under the sea! I'm gonna be honest, when I saw that 300 level, I was like, wow, this level looks easy as shit. And then I struggled on it for ages. And then this level looked way harder, and now I'm just whooping its ass. I'm a flipper maniac. Sad. I really thought I could get maybe a full clear or something on here, but it's it's not looking like- Oh, wait, maybe the dream's still alive. <gasps> oh, my angle was bad, though. Ah. Okay, well, <laughs> guess that happened. Damn it, there were two pegs left. That's not an ace. Look at this guy. He's like murdering people. There's tanks out. People are running in fear, and he's like... <whistles> this level looks like a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna say it. Oh, yeah, baby! Captain M! <laughs> oh! Porn music as Crab Man destroys France. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even notice. I didn't see the uh, arch there. Oh, God! Oh, God! This is, like, terrorism! This is, like, some, uh, normality shit. Yep, 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 yep. This is what you do when you get a lot more viewers, is you start talking about weird racist stereotypes and, uh, and HIV. Otherwise known as AIDS. That's how you- that's what brings me in the big bucks. Fuck. Whatever. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Who the fuck cares? I've been getting a lot of the hundred thousands. At the very least. I posted a peggle shot on my Twitter that got like 12 million points. It was insane. In a single shot. That's more score than I have, like, total right now from the whole game. So I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish. Frenchman world, and then I'll leave the rest of this to another stream. Because, I, I mean, I'm excited about a bunch of viewers, but, uh... We have... or I have to move. <laughs> I have to move all my stuff to my new house. So, uh... I have to do that eventually. Because Peggle, as a game, is kind of a milk toast experience. I mean, we're probably not gonna get nearly as many viewers... ...if I do, uh, normality. But still. Seems like people have been actually enjoying that game quite a bit. I've been enjoying it as much as it is possible to, for that game to be enjoyed. What is normality? I'll give a brief description, and again, maybe maybe we'll have this uh, later tonight, maybe not. But it's a 2.5D first-person adventure game from 1996, and it has aged like a fine cow shit. Released in 1996, which is also the year that I was released from my mother's vagina. That was gross. Why did I say that? 300 viewers, and I, I just... I can't help myself from saying trash. Listen, it's the end of the stream, so I don't need to maintain these viewers. I can talk about coochie all I want. Come on, no, get the flippers. I mean, technically they're claws. 
Oh my god, is the reason his name is Claude because he's got, like, claws? I get it now. Also, I just noticed he's going back into the sea like he's Godzilla. See, I just wouldn't expect them to say Claude for this guy. Because they call them fucking flippers! I didn't think they knew these were called claws, because they call them flippers. Come on! Oh, let me flip something, please. Give me a burger or something. Fucking hell. Ray Romano. Gotta come in and yell at us. Just not what I wanted. That's really not what I wanted. Holy shit. Talk about threading the needle. I got really bad placements for these flippers. I'll keep it real with you guys. They are at really bad spots. Au revoir! Oh, now this is a fucking... Wow. The game's like, here! Fucking take it! God! It's supposed to be a goodbye level. Jesus! Oh, oh, I dunked it. Fucking spanked that ball into the nether. The Netherlands? Oh my god. I'm just not quick enough with these flipper moves. I'm not a flipper maniac anymore. They're gonna take away my badge. Screw him. Fucking hell, this it's always gotta be stressful, huh? Can't just be nice. The game can't just be nice. It's gotta be hard. It's always gotta be a hard knock life. Alright, check it out. The dribble. The straight down shot from downtown. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's real cool, yeah. Yeah, fucking hell, man. Yeah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you prefer the pyramid or the flippers? Well, that's a great question. I couldn't fucking tell you. Probably the pyramid. It's the flippers do that! It's just... They're not big enough. They don't flip enough. It needs more flip. You guys like these noises, right? I'm sure enjoying making them. Ah! Ah! Hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god. Lads, I got saved. Saved by my own pure skill. I think that's the last level in this world. Oh no, I see somebody coming in being like, Yeah, I finally caught a grapefruit stream. Oh man, I'm sorry. Cloud wanted to be big, but this picture is frankly ridiculous. That's how French people sound, right? Anyway, Krongan. The adventures of Krongan will continue. Why... why do you like this? Why is Peggle so popular? Everyone's here. I see Solid Snake in the chat right now. What the fuck? What is wrong with you people? But also, hello everyone. Thanks for coming. So yeah, it's a Sunday night. You know, time when usually people are trying to get a little bit of fucking sleep. So I'm gonna stream some Peggle nights. Do you get it? We're gonna get rid of this disgusting image that I actually cropped out the worst part of for your, you know, viewing pleasure. People are saying full image? What does that mean? Is it... Are they just saying, like, because it's a weird aspect ratio? Because, yeah, it's just an old game. Oh, people want the full image for the Luigi. I see. No. <laughs> You'll have to look it up yourself. That's just how it is on this, uh, well, you know, the rest. It's okay, I'll just have to do a crazy trick shot. It's fine. Like I always do. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, this is that crazy trick shot. I hope you're ready, because it's gonna be great. <laughs> so to those of you who maybe came here expecting something like the Peggle speedrun video, I literally- I- God smiled on me that day, because now I suck at it. Or Peggle Knights is just way harder. Oh, this is my last ball. How did it come to this? It was only a kiss. What? When did that happen? Remember when he made a funny noise once, and then his editor milked it like six billion times until it was just like not even funny anymore? Have you ever been arrested? No. No, still going strong. Oh, I guess this flower is into like world travel. That's sad. Is it because it doesn't have legs? 
Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Aliens, literally aliens. Through the technological singularity, this is the most significant event of the 20th century. Oh, 21st. Yikes. It's embarrassing. Now you guys know I'm a time traveler. And I also got them to play Peggle, so, you know. Brilliant. They said 100% it, which, uh, <laughs> that's not for me, folks. Get- <laughs> This music. Oh, what was it? Somebody had a really good name for this kind of music. It was the, there was like a comment on, on one of the VODs that made me like lose my shit. Jazzant! That was it. It's Jazzant. <gasps> oh! Still got ten balls. Try that one on for size, Josuke. Sometimes four just ain't good enough. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. So I was talking about Bimbo, the old, like, Max Fleischer character. Uh, on the, on the Cuphead stream, and I watched a few, like, old cartoons, like some old- Oh, that was awesome. Some old, like, Betty Boop, and some, like, bimbo cartoons, and, uh, oh! There was, there was a cartoon about this, like, couple that goes to the World's Fair and sees all this, like, technology, and looking back, it almost looks like a satire, but they were just being legit. <laughs> So here's a fun fact that I didn't know until today. Betty Boop used to be a fucking dog. She was like a French poodle character. And she was Bimbo's girlfriend in like the really early cartoons. But yeah, she was like she was like an anthropomorphic dog character. That's why her face is such a weird shape. And uh, but she was based on she was like an yeah she like stood on she stood on two legs, though. And she used to have like big ears, but then they like changed them into hoop earrings, which is kind of clever, I guess. But then here's my question. Because in the later Betty Boop cartoons, where she is a human being, she has, like, a pet dog that, like, walks on all fours and doesn't speak and goes, <laughs> which brings a whole bunch of questions into it in terms of, like, the lore. Like, is, is it, like, a familiar type situation? Like, is Betty Boop similar to, like, a vampire? And it's, like, the dog that she has will eventually, like, work its way up in the ranks and become a human being too, and walk like a person. Talk like a person. Oh, It is like Mickey Mouse, or it's like Goofy and, and Pluto. Oh shit, I didn't realize. There's a, there's a block in the way. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Sad. Sad. I almost made fucking like lemonade out of that piss. It's the second like piss lemonade joke I've made in like in a Peggle stream. What the hell? There's like some weird psychological shit. Freud would love this. You think Goofy and Pluto do like some kinky shit? Pluto can actually talk. He just likes it. Off camera. He's like, yeah, put me in the doghouse. Rough, rough. Carry my leash. <laughs> That's how he laughs, and everybody gets really creeped out. What shows do you recommend? Okay, well, fucking, uh, shows. Nirvana the band, the show, guys. If you watched The Fruit Basket today, the very short clip of somebody going, doing, like, the fucking on a piano, where they, like, go from, like, the top of the range at the bottom, and uh, that was from Nirvana the Man the Show. Very short clip that doesn't really, I mean, I literally just wanted footage of somebody doing the piano thing. Just gotta, I gotta nick the very fucking skin of the block. Skin of the block teeth. <gasps> it bounced at too harsh an angle. <sighs> Guys, it worked out actually. Holy shit. What the fuck? That was such an anticlimax. <laughs> I, I can't set a precedent for calling out subs, because what happens when I get 
fucking like mega famous. When I guaranteed, without fail, get mega famous. Yes. I bet there's always at least one person in the audience who like thinks that we edit Lark Souls as we stream it, you know? But no, we're done with all three games. So yeah, this is why <laughs> this is why this probably isn't gonna be a highlight reel, is because I fucking it's gonna take ages to beat this game compared to Peggle. Man, somebody said this sunflower is like straight walking. They're both straight walking. This guy, he does have pants. Which brings into question, how does a flower have a concept of, like, human decency? Like, in the loading screens, they were butt naked. Sometimes, sometimes the speci specificity, oh my god, that's a hard word to say, of the questions that I get in chat confuses me. What is your favorite Dark Souls consumable item? I don't- I couldn't tell you. That's not a topic I've given a lot of thought, to be honest. Someone says, haha, funny Jojo meme. Hey, you can't complain. You understood the joke, alright? You're one of us. Oh well, back to being stuck in dirt. This is like, kind of morose. Like, I don't like it. Oh right, he wants to be a fireman. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you think it's like scandalous in the dragon community that he's a firefighter? Do you think his parents like disowned him? But he like kept doing it because he's like, it's it's what I'm passionate about. It's like maybe I shouldn't have ended the flower level. Like the flower seemed pretty happy. Also, I forgot the fire, like blocked. Oh, shout out to my housemate, by the way, for giving me a slice of pizza. It had seven fucking cheeses on it. Big amounts of melted cheese. Another uh, old animation that I watched was Silly Symphonies, which I've had recommended to me by like a ton of other people who are like embarrassingly enamored by animation. But I watched, it was like Music World. It was awesome. It looks so cool. Like the, the Max Fleischer ones look really janky, but they've got like the dark factor. Like they're, they're kind of spooky. And they have like a lot of character, but, uh, which is a nice way of saying they look kind of shitty. <laughs> but, like, early Disney Silly Symphonies are, like, beautiful animation. It's amazing! And also I realized that there is a Silly Symphonies reference in Cuphead. There's a statue of, like, a saxophone guy in the courtyard on Inkwell Isle 3, and I think it's gotta be a reference to the main character, who is also a saxophone wearing a hat uh, in, in the music land, Silly Symphonies short. It's gotta be. They look so similar in their, like, design. And I know they're both saxophones, and I know saxophone is, like, a real thing, so it's like, yeah, they're gonna be a little similar, but you, you, you get what I mean. New Rohan Ova... OVA teaser thingy? No, I haven't seen that. What the hell is that? Are they doing the Tonio one where he fucking goes and takes a fucking bath with Tonio? He doesn't take a bath. They go swimming. What is... I need more information on this Rohan thing because I, I haven't even seen... I haven't read any of the Rohan OVAs uh, and... Wow, that was almost exactly the same. Uh, I haven't seen the one that like exists either. It's really hard to find. It's like Japanese only and there's no like good translations of it. Oh, I I haven't like read the Rohan manga that they fucking sell at the actual Louvre. It's cool that it exists. It's the best rock star game? What? Rohan gets a new OVA this December. Art style is bad. Mm -hmm. That just mean it's different? Because people criticized the other OVA. Bruh. Hold on, hold on. I swear this isn't gonna be all, like, JoJo shit. It looks like the fucking picture of the dude who's, like, about to punch you. Only it's Rohan and he's gonna write on you. Uh, one-shot chapters are catnip in between major arcs of the manga. This is phrasing straight from an article. It's just, like, the style of the other OVA. Okay, well, that's cool. Hopefully they do the Tonio shit, because that would be awesome. Oh, I know who Rockstar is, I just... I'm just so not familiar with, uh, many of their games. Like, I played Bully recently. Like, I, I've played GTA, like, briefly in the past. But I don't, I don't really have any hard opinions one way or the other. 
not like the biggest fan of their like open world tendencies. Oh god, he really does look like Kyres. Holy shit. We can edit the whip sound effect in there. Yeah, it's weird that they would announce more Rohan after part 5. Like, that's just kind of strange when everybody wants purple haze distortion or feedback or whatever the like 10 different titles there are for that. Someone said, I really hope the Cuphead DLC is good. Why wouldn't it be? It's like saying, I hope Silk Song is good. It's, it's gonna be good. It's not like those massive companies with like a thousand people in them where it's like it could get marred by like human issues. I don't know. It's like if it's by the same exact team of people who have like learned from their mistakes before, like surely it should only get better from here. But you know, that, you know, knock on wood. I gotta get my Atari 2600 to knock on wood. I could still, I could technically pull it through with like the power of Zeus. Right, I'm calling on you. Oh. Zeusy, big boy, you let me down. I've heard of Dragon's Dogma. That's the one that, I mean, it's visually a little bit similar to Dark Souls, right? Just like saying, like off the top of my head. I know, like, epic meme. Every game is Dark Souls, but like, it literally, it does look like Dark Souls. Right? Yeah, I've watched that friend that I mentioned earlier, Lucas. He, he played a bit of that while I was, like, around. It looks fun. He like picked- he went up to an NPC and just like picked them up and just like had an NPC like over his shoulder, <laughs> which was pretty funny. I- oh, can we talk about the pose that this dragon is uh, <clears throat> assuming? I just now realized this is very sus and possibly not for kids. Oh, did somebody already say? That he looks like he's about to take it up the ass. Sorry, I genuinely didn't see that. Although, as a policy, if somebody says a joke before me, that doesn't necessarily negate me saying it. I've been thinking about Smash viewer battles. I think, like, maybe in like a long ass time, when I finally like completely cut ties with Smash, maybe I'll do like a long ass viewer battle stream. Just to like, you know about the mermaid effect, like when you leave something, you autom- like no matter how much you hate it, like, you'll- when you're leaving it, you'll kind of be like, oh, I mean, I guess it was kind of nice. It's- I mean, it's a reference to the How I Met Your Mother, but, uh, that's- that's what it's- that's what it's called in the show, at least. But, uh, I feel like doing viewer battles would, like, remove the mermaid effect and leave me, like, passionately hating the game, you know? Well, yeah, the reason it's called the mermaid effect is because in the show, it was likened to, like, relationships. So when you're breaking up with somebody, no matter how ugly they are, they start to look like a fucking mermaid. That was the joke. In the show. I hate the game because of the family- I, I don't, like, fucking loathe Smash, like, right now, but, like, it's definitely become, like, seemingly exponentially less fun to play over the years. I don't know. I believe a wise man once said, winning one battle is easy, but then you gather, you accumulate stress for your next battle. Fighting is an, a foolish and endless process. Wait, that guy was a serial killer. Shit. There are some particularly douchey people in, like, fighting game communities, too. Uh, that's, that's the thing about multiplayer, is, like, other people, you know? <laughs> like, fuck. Yahtzee Croshaw, I was listening to a Let's Drown Out the other day, and Yahtzee Croshaw said something that kind of resonated with me. He was like, I don't enjoy multiplayer games as much because I don't want to feel like I'm responsible for another person's fun, you know? Which I, I can kind of get as an, a, a fellow person with, like, anxiety. Like, I can still dig Smash every once in a while, but it's, uh... It's definitely become far from one of my favorites. It, I think, I, I mean, part of it is definitely just that, like... I've watched and produced so much Smash content that it, it is also just getting kind of old for me, too. No, I don't have curly hair. Well, I don't have, like, long hair right now. Actually, literally, like, days after that picture or that video was taken, 
of me burning my homework. Uh, oh, that was terrible. I got a haircut, like, really short. One night I just, like, woke up, like, insanely sweaty, like, and I was, I was pissed. Because I, like, had the windows open, and I had the fan pointed directly at me, and yet still my body was like, I'm a little bitch and I'm gonna produce, like, a fuck ton of sweat. I, it was literally so much sweat that I thought I peed the bed for a second. But I, it was also, like, on my pillow. And my pillow was, like, so fucking disgustingly soaked. But some people are, like, crossing their legs right now and... Disgusting. Shame on you. <laughs> but, uh... The pillow was so soaked that I, I, like, couldn't get back to sleep. And I, I like, angrily, I, like, tore off the sheets on my bed. And I fucking took the pillow off, and I threw the pillow in the dryer, and I fucking slammed the lid at, like, four in the morning. It's, oh... It was just a- it was a trial. And eventually I got back to sleep. That's the entire fun story. <gasps> Please! Oh, you scum. The Peggle Wiki has- this is from chat. The Peggle Wiki has an entire article dedicated to Oregon and its history. Why? Why? Oh, the point of that story- sorry, the point of that story is that very day I got a haircut because I was so pissed off about the pillow thing. Like, I- I, I was losing my fucking mind. We get the central irony to your story, man. Oh my god. Look at his, like, disgusting cosplay of Indiana Jones. Why, why does it have a page on Oregon? Why? I need answers. Wow, fucking hat trick. Why the hell were you there, Lightning McQueen? Jimmy Lightning is from Oregon, apparently. Well, mmm. It makes sense. He seems like a downright Portlandian fellow. That's good. That's damn good. I thought, did the dice? Okay, I was gonna say. The, the dice are no blockina? <laughs> was terrible! I need to end the stream. I need to end the stream. It's not gonna get any better or worse than that. What exactly was the alien? Okay, somebody says, what is the dice alien from past five? I think that was a double typo on part four. I guess spoilers up till part five on like minor lore details. Eh, pretty major, I guess. I don't know. Plug your ears for like two minutes if you don't care or if you care about that. We know that aliens can exist in JoJo because uh, that's where like stands come from. Is like a bacteria from outer space that like landed on Earth on in, in a meteor. So we know Araki is. Down to clown with aliens. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, but Araki's never said distinctly whether or not he was a real alien, but I, I get the vibe that he is an alien. And he has, like, his alien version of a stand, which is why he can't see normal stands, I guess. Because he can't see Crazy Diamond, otherwise he's a really good actor. Lark sent me a Snapchat today. That I, I think he thought it was a JoJo reference. Maybe not. But it was the back of a car that, for whatever reason, somebody had written the words Jojo Siwa there, who, I guess she's... Uh, like, this is something that if you just Google Jojo, she'll come up instead of JJBA, you know? But she's like a children's entertainer, I guess? Like a child icon? Someone said look up Jimmy Lightning's official art in Peggle 2. I already know that it's fucking nauseating. Thanks. I, I almost did a bit in the Peggle speedrun video about how the, the character designs look fucking terrible in Peggle 2. Bjorn looks disgusting as well. But not as bad as Jimmy Lightning. Like, Jim, why is Jimmy Lightning's teeth? They're so yellow! And to be clear... Oh! <laughs> I remember, like, after I got into JoJo, I... I went back through my meme folder at a certain point and I found, like, a ton of JoJo memes that I had had saved. Oh my god. No comment on this whatsoever. <laughs> Can you say trans rights? Sure. What's your favorite JoJo OP? I feel like I've definitely answered this before, but it was a while ago. I like, uh, I'm an edgelord. I like Chase. And normally that's not my kind of music, but it's a, it's just a cool fucking opening. It's got like, it's really good animation. It's a really good song too. I don't know. Or at least I enjoy it. 
I have no idea how they're gonna handle honestly with Stone Ocean. Actually, no. My boring but realistic prediction is they're just gonna make him a dude from the start. So those of you who don't know, this isn't really a spoiler. There's a character famously in part six that has an inconsistency where they started off female, but then just randomly changed to a dude. And it's because uh, they were originally going to be a lesbian love interest to another character, but then Araki's editors were like, none of that gay shit. And Araki was like, have you read my manga? Like, did, you know this is Jojo, right? Okay, cool. Like the gayest, okay, cool. Just checking. But here's the thing. There's a part right before, not like right before, but pretty soon before that character's introduction, where they briefly mention, uh, there's like a scene where Jolin sees a, uh, like a trans person, like, she's like getting admitted to a, a building, and, uh, sees, like, this, this isn't really spoiler territory, don't worry, uh, it's like an inconsequential moment, she just like sees, it's in like a line for like an all-female thing, but there's like someone who looks like a dude there, and she's like, wait, isn't that person a man? And one of the people there goes, oh no, they've been, they've been like taking hormones. And Jolin's like, wow, I guess the future is now. And then after that is like the sex change thing that like goes unexplained. But I really, I don't think those are connected. It might just be a coincidence. Yeah, there were literally gay people in part five. Although, if uh, to those of you who are anime only, they were made a lot gayer in uh, in the anime. Like in the manga, none of that touchy feely like chess shit <laughs> was going on with uh, Tiziano and what was it? Squalo. Who was your favorite antagonist for part five? I really. Uh... Oh, what was his name? His name Sale. Craftworks user. I really wish we got to see more of him, actually. And Formaggio was so cool, the little feet guy. That guy was so sick. I, I, I have a soft spot for characters who have like a weak ability, but they like use it in a really like smart way that like completely fucks people over. That's why I like Shikamaru in Naruto so much when I was a kid. But Craftwork is such a cool stand. And we only got to see like a tiny bit of it. There are some other shows I can recommend. I feel like I only gave one answer. The Venture Brothers is really great. I would say like, maybe if you're into Arrested Development, check out Nirvana the Band the Show. If you're into like Rick and Morty, check out like Super Jail and The Venture Brothers, both great animated series. Xavier Renegade Angel is also great. Fucking legendary show. And these are all like mildly fucked up uh, they're actually all along the gradient from mildly fucked up to extremely fucked up. Like, maybe not the best shows to watch if you're, I don't know, suicidal. Actually, you know, some of them are uh, pretty optimistic in the end. Yeah, I guess I could also just recommend Arrested Development. That's a phenomenal show. Isn't- I think there's a new season and I didn't watch it, and that's just a damn crime. But that being said, the quality has gone noticeably down, sadly. I hate to say that, I mean, it's always... Nobody enjoys saying that about, like, a thing that was once amazing and is now slightly less amazing, but, you know, so it goes. Oh, don't worry, chat, I make, like, constant Venture Brothers references. They're just, like, the deepest cuts in the fucking universe. Because I've watched every episode, like, 20 times. Do my henchman 24 voice! Come on! Hit the bags! You guys want me to stream like that the whole time? Man, I miss Dr. Orpheus. Great, my closet is the door to hell. The necropolis, a porthole to the necropolis. It had to be on the south side of the apartment. And since you had to have a private bathroom, oh, this is never sleep. I heard he was gonna be back in the next season because he was gone for, was he go wait, was he back in season s What season are we on? They did season seven, right? Or am I tripping? They did seven and now they're, uh, now they're on eight. Or they're gonna do eight. And I think Orpheus wasn't in either season six or season seven. He's like gonna come back. Oh, this is, uh, oh, it sucks, man. No, we're not talking about Egyptian gods. We're talking about Dr. Byron Orpheus. That was a terrible Orpheus impression. Dr. Byron Orpheus. 
It's really hard to do it quietly, honest, honestly. Oh, I like the Eric Andre show. I... Definitely the first two seasons are the best. I feel like he kind of jumped the shark at a certain point, which is crazy because that show is just non-stop insanity from the very first frame. <laughs> like, it's just insanity, but, like, even then, I think he started focusing too much on, like, the, like, public stuff. Where it's like, I'll totally go up to somebody and say something weird and they'll go, what? That got, that got kind of old. Oh, please. Yes. Uh, what do I think of Invader Zim? It's, it's cool, but it's not, like, my favorite thing. I remember that I had, like, a brief phase when I was younger where I thought Invader Zim was, like, really cool. And I would draw the stupid, like, the bloody gur on everything. The one that, like, the creator snuck into the show in a couple of, like, singular frames. Because, like, the editors wouldn't let him post something edgy. Someone in chat pointed out he's probably getting insane feedback being that close to the speakers. I never watched Courage the Cowardly Dog. My mom wouldn't let me. <laughs> she was like, no, it's too scary. And you know what? I think that show would have fucking scarred me for life as a kid, because I was already scared of, like, Scooby-Doo, you know? Return the slab, or suffer my curse. But I have, I've seen all the, like, iconic things. Like, that's how I uh, referenced, like, Freaky Fred or whatever in the Normality stream. And Andrew and I are always saying, return the slab, whenever we see something, like, mildly creepy and, like, <laughs> uncanny valley. Also, you're not perfect. I, I know all the, like, iconic scares. Oh, right, there's another... Isn't it like a... It's like a squid, right? Yeah. Oh, no, she's like an alien? Shark! Oh. The sponges say the way is perilous with dangers galore. Well, there's glorious dangers, better watch out. There's marinas on a way. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I totally forgot about this. If you can't handle coward Courage the Cowardly Dog, you can't handle real life. I, I literally couldn't. I was a child. If my parents abandoned me, I would have died and starved. I literally couldn't handle real life. Like, not for nothing, but I literally... That's true. I agree. Look at this. Wait, when she turns around... There's like a... She's like weird for a frame. Look at her. Someone get like a freeze frame of her, like, when she's moving. We'll do some of the hardest levels. Oh wow, he's literally got a painting of Peggle 1. Above his, <laughs> like, gameplay. I never noticed that. Anyway, we got over 200 viewers right now. That's pretty cool. I really appreciate the heightened viewership as of late. Now here's a question. How is he holding that teacup? Hooves. Hooves. Just something to think about. Hooves. stream. We're gonna play the the last bit of Peggle Knights. We're gonna play uncharacteristically difficult Peggle Knights. Oh wow, I quit out mid-shot. I didn't know you could even do that. Is Peggle Knights on par to the others? It's like, oh wow. It's the most literal Peggle 2 you could ever get. It feels like a level pack for Peggle 1. It's <laughs> If you enjoyed Peggle 1, you will enjoy this. It's got one extra, like, robot master. Mega Man? Get in there! Oh. My leg really hurts today, by the way. I'd like to take this time to complain. I lifted a bunch of heavy-ass boxes yesterday, and I guess I was too vigorous about it because it feels like I fucking, like, pulled a muscle. I've been, like, resting a lot. That's how bad it is. Normally, I don't feel the need to, like, sleep when I'm in pain. Jojo the only anime you've watched? I get that question quite a bit. And, uh, no, but it's it's one of the few. Usually I need a, an anime to be pretty, like, distinctive to, like, suck me in. Either, like, cool animation or cool story and world or both. Oh. Chat is all 
questions about have I seen X anime yet? I don't know, man. I've I've talked about this before. I haven't seen a bunch. Like I'll quickly list them off. Like JoJo. I watched Naruto when I was young. Let's see, Penny and Stocking, which I swear it's not what it sounds like. I I read it for the articles. Uh, <laughs> and ooh, ooh. And uh, let's see what else. A uh, Kill a Kill was pretty good until it fucking had no idea what it was about in the second season. Mob Psycho is amazing. One Punch Man's amazing. But really, let's keep it real here. My favorite anime of all time has got to be The Venture Brothers. I actually watched a couple of Rohan OVAs today, and they're pretty fucked up. People die like crazy in those. Holy shit! I have seen Inferno Cop actually. I've seen a tiny bit of Cowboy Bebop. It seems like the sort of thing I would adore, but somehow I just- it doesn't really... It doesn't suck me in. Come on, guys. I'm a white guy. Living in, like... The Pacific Northwest, and you think I ain't seen Mob Psycho or One Punch Man? I mean, come on. Let's keep it real here. Keep it real here. There's like the classic, like, sad white boy anime. Oh, it's so- oh, it's so painful being in a country that's a world power. Oh, so much responsibility. They're great shows, though. I mean, oh. I haven't read any of the Rohan ones, no. This is going by a lot faster than I thought it would- Oh, This has got to be one of those ones where you, like, stick it in. You gotta get it, like, in the bottom of one of those. And it'll, like, schlork it up to the top. Shock it to me, baby. Hey, baby. This, uh, this is a fine pickle I got myself into. Yeah, it's part of a new bit I'm working on called Mocking Germa. This is gonna take a lot of skill. Brilliant. A lot of luck and a lot of love and a lot of memes. That was bad. Oh god. Come on. Ah! Ah! Go! Oh, it's terrible. The stress. Also, is this the same fucking JPEG of her from the last level just flipped around? Let's keep it real. No. Uh, I just I, I would rather err on the side of getting it in the free ball rather than not. So this is gonna be a little annoying. Come on. I need the rim bounce. Pacific rim. <laughs> Why you gotta enable me, game? I toyed with fate. I toyed with fate. Pissed in, a, in God's eye and he blinked. You know, uh, I used to read Mushi Shi when I was a kid, which was like a, a manga. I don't know if it ever got made into an anime, but I, I like checked it out from the library. And, uh, oh, it's the Pegel Institute. I get it, this is plot. The Rohan OVAs really reminded me of Mushi Shi, like a lot. I just didn't like the sense of like, Experienced man goes to the mountains to like solve mystical, vaguely Asian feeling, uh, like mysteries. I mean, by vaguely Asian feeling, I mean like you know folk folklore esque. Every single one of these pegs that I'm destroying is a planet that people live and breathe on. I'm a monster. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the Rohan OVAs provide many reminders that Heaven's Door is a fucking, like, busted OP stand. And he's, you know, totally not a glorified oh, insert man. character, guys. He's just a manga artist who has fucking all the powers in the world. But I, I went to Fred Meyer today to get some, like, groceries. And I was walking with a limp like I was fucking Bartimus Crouch. Like, it was insane. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. When I was younger, I used to occasionally fake a limp. Just when I was like out and about, and it was like nobody that knew me was there. I don't know, because when you're younger, you feel a weird desire to try to be quirky all the fucking time. 
But then today in Fred Meyer, I was like, <laughs> I actually have an excuse to fucking like act like a crotchety old man. Yeah, I'm trying to make head or tail of this chat message. I once lied to my parents for half a school year that there was a pool. I convinced them I went ice skating. They didn't have a clue until the first parent-teacher conference. I don't... I feel like I'm missing some sort of crucial piece of information for that story that, that makes it... Did I say something about pools or something? What, did it, what happened? I'm just trying to understand. Oh, just shit that you lie about as a kid? Oh, yeah, yeah. I get, okay, all right, never mind. I, I occasionally forget my own sentences, and by occasionally I mean all the damn time. Someone says you hear about the cocaine at Woodenville Safeway. No. Please do go on. I worked at that Safeway. But I'm still curious about the cocaine. I really want it to be that, like, my ex-boss was doing cocaine, and that explains why he was so fucking, like, wigged out all the time. Did I ever tell you guys when I worked at Safeway? They always told us, you know, stay hydrated at all times. You know, it's really important for the, like, safety of our employees to stay hydrated. Can't keep a water bottle at your fucking work workstation, though. My boss got mad and yelled at me for drinking from a water bottle at a fucking, like, at the cash register. I was like, are, are you a, are you a carbon-based life form? You know we need water, right? If I wasn't so squishy, I'd pinch myself. Is that saying, like, she can't get a grip on her own, like, squid skin? So this, is, this isn't the last world. There's, like, some bonus levels after this that I still want to do. But don't worry. This, this isn't going to be another short, like, ending stream. But it will be an ending stream. This is the last... Probably the last Peggle stream you guys are going to get in a while, to be honest. Maybe I'll do, like, Peggle 2 or, like, Extreme or whatever later. But I'm, I'm a little Peggled out right now. I gotta work on making a fucking video. I haven't edited in a hot second, to be honest. You may notice there haven't been any videos recently. <laughs> I've been trying to kick it a little bit after moving, because moving was kind of a hassle. A bunch of cocaine found in banana boxes. Is it, if this is a Rickroll, I'm never clicking on a link again. One million worth of cocaine found in a Box of 23 kilos. Oh, this is Bellingham Safeway. So this isn't the one that I worked at. Workers were unloading a box of bananas and found it. Oh, it, so it seems like... It was like some drug lord fucked up or something. Interesting. It's like they were fucking like shipping cocaine across the seas. Oh, hell yeah. By the way, I beat the game. Whoops. They were like shipping it across the seas and then they were like, Ah, shit, we missed some cocaine. Damn it, those- those fucking monkeys. A new master appears. Incredible! Beyond belief! I don't believe it! Oh, he just transmorphed into her. What? Is this where you get to, like, choose anyone? Yeah. I think, uh, Grim Matchstick actually might be a good choice here. Look at this. The, the center of it is all orange pegs. <laughs> yeah! Oh, the boy is on fire. What do they say about these levels being impossible? I might still lose. I shouldn't- I shouldn't get cocky. Cock! Get it. Get the, get the one that I want. Get the one that I want! <laughs> Is don't get cocky Star Fox really a line from Star Fox? That is just straight up Star Wars. E. Stands for extreme fever. Get the purple. Get the purple. Oh god. I'm like worried. I'm worried. Do people get like blood clots in their legs? Is this how it happens? Do I, like, lose a leg? I feel like it's too much of a coincidence that I would get a blood clot right after, right after, like, doing a bunch of, like, heavy lifting. I just- it's just one leg. It's just one leg. Slick! Dude! Oh, oh, ho. Oh. That is fun. But, like, blood clots aren't- what if you got a blood clot in your leg? Would that be, like, a bad thing? Why am I asking Twitch chat this? This is worse than fucking WebMD by leagues. Well, okay, I know it's a bad thing, but, like, would it be the sort of thing where I just, like, fucking die? Or, like, lose a leg? Or is it, like, something where you, you know, you just go to the doctor and they do, like, surgery or whatever? ER type thing? Oh, that's fun. That's real fun. Well, you know, I lived a good life. I'm I'm not sure it's a <laughs> blood clot at all. It's literally, I'm just, literally just, like, an anxious person. I do sit on my ass a lot, but, like, 
I don't know why it would be triggered from yesterday where I was like up and moving a shit ton. It like hurts when I move my leg in certain ways. I'm turning the fan on. Ugh. I'm young and not completely sedentary. Hey, you don't know that last part. I am overweight. <laughs> it's also a thing. Well, you know. It fucking persists. That was terrible. And maybe I'll go to the doctor. Who fucking knows? <laughs> That's good. That peg is gonna be a bitch to get. Oh my god. I can't angle it off that wall. I need to, like, clear out some pegs. <laughs> yeah. Soak in a hot bath. Fuck, I have a bathtub now. That I would actually feel comfortable taking a bath in. I never even thought about that. Blood clots are mostly common in the back knee. Eh. I love that this is turned into, like... Twitch MD. It's not in, like, the back of my knee, but it's like... It's like the top of my thigh, almost my pelvis. Stop flexing on us non-bathtub people. Hey, I went without a bathtub for ages, alright? If I showed you guys a picture of the bathtub in my old house, you would literally- you would puke. Soak with Epsom salt. I don't really have Epsom salt. Also, I thought- isn't salt bad for your muscles? I mean, I know soaking and eating are very different things. I thought it, like, it, one of the things I was a little worried about is I ate, like, a bunch of fucking Chinese egg noodles today with, like, a ton of soy sauce, and I was like, wait, shit, is that bad? I don't know if it feels like a cramp. No, it doesn't feel like my muscle is... I mean, are you talking like a Charlie horse? Where your leg goes, Arr! for like a minute? It doesn't feel like that. It just fucks me up because it's, like, on top of all of my other regular pain, <laughs> you know? From just being, like, a large person that gravity is constantly pulling down on. And that's partially like fat and partially I'm like fucking six foot three. Oh right, it's probably just Adobe Premiere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood tax. Just cinch the deal right here. Okay. Seal the cinch. This sucks. Why does it have to be this stressful? Thank God. People talk about Yo Angelo, but they don't talk about the best Yo, which is when fucking Highway Star's user is like all healed and, and all his, his like posse of girls comes back and he's like yo that's a good one that's a good one right there quality yo <laughs> whoa it's going all, oh it went all over town there that was insane the master levels are impossible only a madman would try them. No one could just deflect the emerald splash. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> get it! Get in! <laughs> get in there! Fucking asshole! God! Get no respect around here. 69k. All intentional. I was just trying to manufacture a good score. What are those? I'm 85 and I think that joke is funny. Oh, wait, what? Wait, I looked away. How did I get a free ball there? Did I just get a free ball? What happened? I thought I was dead for sure. You guys are just freaks for Peggle. 257 viewers. <gasps> okay, well, I didn't get the hat at all that round, which kind of negates the point of going for the hat guy. Yeah. Mario. I keep feeling like I, I like there are there are ways that I can turn my leg that where it's like no I don't want to turn that way and I'm like you, you gotta you gotta I bought a loaf of bread today at Fred Meyer and when I took it home I saw the number like it was like 21.54 on the label and i was like wait holy shit did i just buy a 20 dollar loaf of bread and then i looked at the receipt and i was like no 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 it was it was like four dollars it was just <laughs> it was just a weird label i don't know it was confusing but i like freaked out for a second i was like 20 dollar bread no no sir because it was like from like the fresh baked section so I was like, shit, is this like rich people bread? It's good bread. I have four shots to hit five pegs. The upward bounce. Bah! Upward bounce is the only strat that can save me now. <gasps> e 
All right, I, got, I gotta do the bounce. Oh, that's not good. It's very not good. Yeah, <laughs> fucking spiked it into the ground. People were asking what the hat does. It just makes the like the hitbox of the hat, or the hat box, if you will, activates pegs as well. So it just basically makes it makes your thing cover like a wider area. Okay, the complete. Fucking vertical up and down bounce. Yes. Oh my god, did I get it perfect? Please don't roll off to the side. Oh my god. 100% verticality. You'll never see that anywhere else. Wow, this fucking- it always turns around so intensely. It's never like, oh, I just barely squeaked by now. It's like I fucking dominate the level out of nowhere. You guys like, uh, fucking Matrix 4? I- I don't. <laughs> Yeah, they're making another Matrix. Aren't you glad? You know, the sentence, they're making another blank, you can basically just pop in any franchise at this point, <laughs> and it would be true. They're making another Memento. Oh, that was abysmal. You've turned chat into a hive mind by talking about hypothetical sequels. Yeah, yeah, nice try. But don't you dare pin that one on me. Chat has been a hive mind for years. Also, you're fucking kidding me. Did you see that <laughs> ball just now? Get in! Thank you. <laughs> this is still so fucked. This is so beyond fucked. Alright. Okay, uh, mm hmm. Ah! I do need to take a fucking bath. Maybe like the solution to like all my problems is to take a fucking bath. I feel like my muscles would like that too. I didn't realize I had another <laughs> shock shot on, but I'm glad it was at least okay. Roller coaster ride. I'm gonna go someone else. You fucking heathens don't know the song from Lilo and Stitch, Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride. Can you even call your fa call yourself fans? Of either me or Lilo and Stitch. Oh, I'm a maniac. This level is insanity, by the way. It's just sheer fucking insanity. <gasps> Nitty. Why do I have to? Why is it this Joker that I'm that I'm shooting at here? What? Why? Why couldn't I just? I could. Just, I could just live. This is so... Do you guys see how fucked this is? I'm gonna shoot it as far in that direction as I can. Oh. Brilliant. Get. This is so frustrating. I'm gonna fucking die because of this peg. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, 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 watch. Watch this. Oh. What a fucking- how? Literally how are you supposed to get- like, if it happens to be that one, how? Literally, like, in what way? <laughs> Horrible. Let's see here. Let's- let's go back to, like, Squid Bitch. I feel like this is, like, the way to go. Because you can get- you can theoretically get any peg that you want. What if you saved them for the end? If only there was a power that let you aim where a bounce shot could go, yeah, I guess, uh, if you were a total scrub at the game, you might need that, yeah. You're right, you're very right, chat. You're very right on that. If you were a fucking, like, plebeian, non-pro peggle player, then maybe, yeah. Maybe that would be helpful. Oh, is this it? Frondan. Peggle Man. 
Oh god, this weird, like, funky version of Ode to Joy. Oh, this is a weird credit screen. Why is it like this? Oh! I didn't know there were gonna be jump scares in this game. You know, it's got a little bit of sass and attitude. It's no, there's zombies on your lawn, but, uh, science! You know, it, it's good. It's actually like a- it's like an anime opening, almost. <laughs> Bowling! Yeah, I'll do the- I'll do the bonuses. Writing. Excuse me? I guess there is dialogue. Anarchy! Oh, <laughs> Very interesting! Was that fucking Beethoven? Ludwig von, Ludwig von Beethoven has a credit in Peggle Knights. Play Osu? No. No. God, no. Um, do we need to see this entire thing? Shocker? Is that what it just said? Gross. Gross. Alright. Rambo Bear. Oh, these are not screen names at all. Susie, is that the dog from, uh, Normality? Alright, that's enough of that. So let's just do- I'm just gonna do a few of the bonus levels. Speaking of zombies on your lawn, look at the zappy lady, actually. I think I'm probably- I fear for my life on, like, a daily basis. Don't worry. But driving across bridges freaks me out. Like, this is... Maybe I should fucking talk to my doctor about anxiety. I, like, think about this a lot. I just haven't been to the doctor in a while. Maybe this is a good excuse. I have played this game, Plants vs. Zombies, on stream. It's on the Fruit Salad channel. All the full VODs. It was quite the uh, popular series. That was, like, the... A breakout hit on the Fruit Salad channel before Peggle, you know? Peggle speedrun VOD got like fucking 10,000 views. It's insane. For that channel, I mean. Also, Fruit Basket 3 got a lot of views, uh, like more than the past Fruit Baskets. I think possibly because... Oh, this sucks. Possibly because uh, it has Mr. Game & Watch <laughs> on the, in the thumbnail. I almost said on the cover art. This sucks! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn it! If I hadn't just like thrown away that one ball, I would have been fine. But I just threw away that one ball. Uh, how about that? Get the hat in here. The hat is like, I used to say that was like the shittiest ability, but it's actually pretty good. Oh, can you stop the- wait! Can you stop the, like, spinner on the thing that you want? It's like Hero. I didn't know that. New tech discovered. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, weird. I thought I, like, stopped it for some reason. You guys ever listen to Welcome to Night Vale? Sure is a shame, right? <laughs> it, it was so- it was so cool. And then it- oh, it got formulaic real fast. And it got way too full of, like, quirky guest voice actors. And this is coming from somebody who's, like, a Venture Brothers fan. I guess I was fine with Jackson Public being on it, but there were just so many not great voice actors near the end of my time listening to that show. Because all the dialogue was written for Cecil, but other people just had no idea how to do that sort of tone of voice, so they just sounded ridiculous saying those lines in, like, a perfectly normal speaking voice. <laughs> okay, look over there. There was something- there was something in the- on the other side of your room, away from the screen. Look there, instead. Somebody said that I- in the- uh, there have been a lot of, uh, comments about my appearance in the hero video, where I briefly showed my face. Somebody said I looked like the, like, nice guy, uh, dude from Megamind. Which is a lot more fair when I had, like, massive hair, which I don't really have anymore. But I undoubtedly will again. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> Popsicles! There probably won't be a highlight video of this one, at least not an official, like, me-created one. No. 
it's just, I don't know. One peg old video is enough, right? You gotta, you gotta move on, you know? I don't want to stick around on the, on the same thing for too long in terms of the main channel. I mean, I guess I've been doing Lark Souls for, like, ever, and will be doing it for, like, ever, but, you know. Besides that, I think the most accurate, uh, comment that anybody has ever made about my appearance is that I just look like a grown-up Bobby Hill, which is, uh, that one I accept, that's totally fair. I don't have, like, the weird body shape of the, the, the nice guy from Mega Mind, like the bad dude. Oh, this sucks so much. I don't want to do this. The whole wide worm, wor worm in the palm of my slurm. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh man, I'm delirious. Somebody on one of the full vods of Peggle Knights was like, "Are you gonna just skip Peggle Two? Like it didn't even happen?" I was like, "Are you just gonna fucking embarrass yourself by thinking that Peggle Knights came out after Peggle Two? Fucking absolute ignoramus." I was just gonna say they have it organized in such a way that like. Getting, like, slick roll is really difficult. Oh! Oh, I was gonna say, you better fucking go in there and do a slick spin, dude. The fuck are you doing? Getting out of there. Get in the free ball. <gasps> Scum. Is this the sequel to Boundin? The Pixar animated short? We got the triple score again, guys. Aren't you excited about the triple score? Skr 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 you know, I bought that $20 loaf of bread, or, or so I thought it was. For a second, I was like, damn, that guy who gave me, like, 250 bucks in bits, I hope he knows this is the kind of, like, conscientious spending that I do with that money. It's like, usually people kind of, like, check to see how much a loaf of bread at least costs before buying it. Not I. Not fucking I. Someone said those flowers scare me. I literally didn't even notice them until they said that. Let's get a good look at these faces. Is it pain? Is it pleasure? This one looks like he's got a fucking gun to his head. Like this one right here. It looks like he's being forced to like speak about something against his will. And he's like, yeah, I totally want to share this. <laughs> Put me back, I'm not done! Depending on how thin this bridge is, we can't really see from here. But this- this might be a depiction of the moments before vehicular manslaughter. Warren. Why is your name Warren? What a strange name for a rabbit. Get in. God damn it. Rabbits live in Warrens. What is a Warren? I thought Warren was just a name. Is Warren also like a- a type of like environment? It's a rabbit's burrow. Okay. Huh. It is a little bit like, uh... Naming your child, like, apartment building, you know? <laughs> or naming your bird Cage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, I can't- I need this fucking bath now, dude. I'm looking forward to it so much. You know what's something really weird in the- in the Rohan OVA? Is one of the characters has a shirt that says SBR on it, which is like, in the- in the reboot universe, usually that's a reference to Steel Ball Run. But it's like in original universe, in part four. Like what? Why does his shirt say SBR? I don't get it. See the, the disparity between uh, the public's enjoyment of part six and part seven really shows how much of like the shonen audience is like the same demographic. Because <laughs> part six is about a girl with daddy issues. And part seven is about, like, literally, like, a league of men, all with daddy issues of their own, of some variety. And that's the one that everybody, like, nuts over. It's a great part. It's just kind of funny. That, like, one of the same things. Like, every fucking male character, every major male character in SBR has some sort of, like, problem with their dad. You know? I, yeah, I love both parts. They're all great. Okay, Fluffy Sunnies is the last... <laughs> the Fluffy Sunny challenge. This, this might be my favorite power. I know it's like, you know, it's basically just me. Basically just make a slick grapefruit shot. But, uh, you know. <laughs> Fluffy Sunnies sounds like something you can order at Denny's. Yeah, it does. That's like the, the weird name for the... Like, they're not allowed to call it Fluffy or Sunny Side Up. Because it's not real eggs. 
So they're like, yeah, they're fluffy sunnies. And I'm like, so these are chicken eggs, right? And they're like, they're fluffy sunnies. Eat them. They're delicious. It's like hush puppies. I think I I think I just ripped off a joke from like what's the what's the guy? John Roy. John Roy. Anybody ever listen to John Roy? I remember I discovered him because he had a he had a bit about Nintendo and about how you had to blow in the cartridge. He really wasn't like that amazing. But uh he still made me laugh. But he had a he had a thing about like what is a hush puppy? Like why won't they just say what it is? Does it have puppies in it? What meat is it? Are they allowed to tell you? I think I had like one of his like comedy tapes and it was called Dressed for Recess. Okay, well I, I didn't tell the John Roy bit verbatim. I feel like I didn't do it justice. That's it, that's the last extreme fever you depraved Peggle addicts are gonna get for a long, long time. I mean, maybe not a long, long time. But that's it. That's it. That's all the levels. That's every level in the game. We did them all. And I think we can all agree it was a great game. Where you can play the Shire theme in the main menu. Alright, well, I'm gonna go fucking soak my leg. Ugh. Or something. I'm gonna go do something to, like, fucking make myself feel like I'm not gonna die. Peggle Master out. The newest Peggle Master. Grey Fruit. Put my picture right up here, at the top. In the corner. It'd have to be a 90 degree photo. You know what? I'm just gonna. Bye.